you know, the show is sort of divided into two. We have portraits, uh, stenciled portraits that uh, I also take around the lower mainland and uh, just starting in Vancouver to sort of place my friends into uh, familiar settings that uh, since I've been living in Victoria for just about a year, just under a year now I would say. Uh, I lived on the Gulf Islands and originally from Vancouver and lived in Montreal so sort of been across the country but uh, I've taken people that I love who are dear and close to me and made stencils out of them and then reproduce those stencils uh, not necessarily in an art setting but they can be on the side of a wall or uh, in my paintings and uh, and uh, work uh, work with images from art history as well will be uh, in the background or from popular culture and try and build a uh, series of images that overlap and tell a story, maybe have a, a not a necessarily a defined uh, story, but uh, you may be able to make one. You don't have to know the people. You don't have to know even the popular cultural references or the art historical references. But, uh, you know, you can build a story out of those and, and uh, it might bring something to you. I definitely don't want people to uh, have a a defined linear line of what they have to think or, or, or anything like that. But to me, you know, they will have a certain cachet and uh, emotional response because, you know, I know those people and, uh, and they, they mean something to me. So, uh, you know, that's sort of a beginning for me, at least, uh, for the, this imagery. And then taking the art historical reference to it, uh, uh, as you can see, uh, I've used uh, the gleaners, uh, like a, a, a stencil of the gleaners, a Millet painting, to sort of uh, talk about uh, maybe different aspects of the city. Uh, well, as we were just saying, you know, what do we think of people that actually uh, make their living off of gleaning the leftover stuff that uh, the modern world provides? Tin cans, scrap metal, cigarette butts, you know, whatever whatever uh, they can do that gets them through the day. And uh, because it's obviously not a new issue, it's been going back hundreds of years, I kind of bring that idea or hopefully that conversation right forward uh, to for us and uh, maybe use more modern colors, use a stencil instead of painting, use whatever uh, modern application I can do to uh, to kind of make it more accessible to uh, to people so they don't have to know like I said earlier they don't have to know the reference per se but they do they notice that there are people that are bending over picking things up what are they doing why are they doing it what's the context in that and uh, the other uh, part of the series is a window series which is um, color wrapped around uh, an image and those were started actually as small paintings when I was doing uh, larger work because uh, I do larger work as well and to uh, sort of block out plan what uh, what I was going to do for the larger works and uh, so I had all these sort of scraps laying around these little bits and pieces and so I started to window them off make it a window make people look at these small areas make them jewel like make them uh, make them interesting in a sense of they have to look through a window they have to look through a certain place and time to uh, to focus I'm, uh, you know make them focus on it and then I will take once again images and and uh, and place them in there things that uh, have a context to the overall um, allegory and uh, that allegory doesn't have to be uh, followed uh, to the letter but you know it's something that maybe will engage in a discussion will get people to think about you know what does Alice in Wonderland in the front of a farm what does that mean what do they think about what is why is that why why is that there you know, and, and uh, you know what does that mean to them do they think that does it's another world because they're urban people or does it mean that that world is disappearing and uh, you know it's no longer 
say like the dodo, uh, it would just be a memory for us. Is that agriculture, let's say, or how we know agriculture to be, is, is that going? So that's sort of part of, part of it. And uh, I like to do, um, have some of my work, uh, like I was saying earlier, I like it to be on the street and in the gallery at the same time. I like it to bridge the two worlds. I like people to, uh, who are, I mean, well, I guess, who are educated to come to art shows, uh, to, you know, sort of look at it. And I also like people who are just going to work, who may, you know, be the type that watch uh, football on Sundays and don't look at art, but they still are kind of forced, you know, like, uh, to look at my work because it's on the side of a wall. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe that's a little bit, a bit of artist bullying, I don't know, but, uh, you know, I enjoy... I enjoy that sort of duality, and I and I like a lot of that duality in my art. So I like it in my life, and I like I like it uh, in all aspects of everything.